Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of the history and evolution of Universe Sandbox. So today we are starting our journey in update 21 here. Um, I'm actually in update 22 at the moment actually but luckily we can go back to the previous update notes which is pretty cool when you uh, boot up the game for the first time. So yeah welcome to um, update 22. But before we uh, get onto that, we need to go over the uh, update 21, as unfortunately I cannot access that version of the game. But luckily it was mainly just a language. They just added no more languages into the game. That's so there wasn't really much new content in the game itself, which was quite um, quite good. So we're not really missing out on much, um, thankfully. But yeah, we'll, go have, we'll have a quick run through of update 21. So as we can see, Universe Sandbox now supports 20 plus languages. So I remember when this came out actually. So yeah, it was all just all just language stuff really. So we can uh, hop onto the next update, which is 21.1, which is a history of Jupiter's moons. So that um, just had a whole simulation and all about that. Then we had update 21.2, which was the uh, Windows Mixed Reality support. So it was all just little minor updates here. And then update 21.3, the extremes of our solar system. That's when it added the Parker space probe simulations in, then the New Horizons um bits and bobs in as well in update 21.3 so at the moment the very first update 21 it roughly came out in around june 2018 is what i can uh, pretty much work out so yeah june 2018 but obviously as time uh, time progresses we go to august and then i believe um update 22 was september 2018 if i remember right i'm just i'm just looking now october no no it wasn't the update we're in right now so 21.3 this was october 2018 so if we go to November 2018, is that what we see? Tw update tw yeah, update 22. So if we go here, so the universe just got bigger. Steam Workshop supports. So that was the update where that um, all came out, and that's the update we're in at the moment. Is update 22, and then obviously there was a few uh, more versions of 22 because we're in the very latest version of 22. So it had the far out update where it added um, that object in here, which is really cool. And then um, lastly, the revamp vapor and engine experiments, so as we can see here. Pretty cool stuff. And then a big day for physics. That's the uh, update we are in at the moment. So you can see as time evolved. Yeah, update 22.3. Pretty cool stuff. So I think this takes us into the beginning of 2019 now, if I want to say. Um, I'm just looking at the uh, the patch notes and the, the history um, on the blog at the moment. But I believe, yeah, I believe this. we are now in the 2019 era of Universe Sandbox. I believe this uh, update 22 got us into 2019. So, yeah, pretty, pretty good stuff. Very, very nice stuff indeed. So, right, without further ado, let's actually explore. So, first of all, we're going to have a look at customization because I believe this was the update or update 22. I believe at this point we there may have been more customization. Um, I'm going to go to a random, let's just go to a random body out in the uh, okay, here you go. So, remember, we had high elevation and all that, so that was available in the previous update. No atmosphere yet. No atmosphere and no bands. Okay, so we're still only on the phase or the um, era of surface customization. You can't do atmospheres just yet in update 22. So, pretty, uh, pretty interesting stuff. So, yeah. Appearance, the only stuff you can do is the colors. Can't do anything else other than that currently. So, yeah, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty funky stuff there, as we can see there. Uh, menu speed, let's open it up. Yeah, nice quick menu speed. And what we'll do as well, like we've done in every single video, so we can compare... What we're going to do is we're going to do the good old performance test. So I think last um, video, I think the highest we got was about 141 in update 19. And it was either update 18 or 19. But yeah, we saw that um, after update 18 or 19, it did slow down in update 20. So let's just see if update 22 can give us any better results compared to the previous episode. Because that would be quite interesting to see. So we'll just have to wait and just, um, just wait and see what what the game gives us here. I want to say this simulation we're in right now, that's the one that usually causes the most trouble for lagginess. So it'll be interesting to see what sort of results that gives us. Still got the good old galaxy collision. We should be seeing the galaxy collision change soon when the galaxy up when we get to the galaxy update uh, later down the road. So that'd be that'd be quite cool actually. So Saturn and Neptune as well. Okay, cool. I don't remember the toolbar being at the bottom during these uh these um tests. So that's uh, pretty interesting. And lastly we should have the moon and the earth. Yep, okay. So let's just see how the collisions on that. I wonder if that water glitch still shows up for, that we saw in the previous video because that was quite weird when it just added like patches of water. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, look at that. That is that is pretty strange when it does that. You can see it's like adding ice and all that. It's very, very weird. So, okay. So that's the end of the test. So what is our result? 105. Oh, we can see we've had quite a drop then from the previous versions. Interesting stuff there. Okay. 
Um, no, we don't need to send that because we're in an old version anyway. Okay. Uh, simulation wise, obviously we went through all of the uh, bits and bobs there. So obviously the Parker Spray Strike, that's now added the Voyager 1 and 2. This is obviously in 2019. So yeah, pretty cool. Very cool indeed. So we can see roughly when this update would have came out is around this sort of timestamp on the um, bottom left here. So pretty cool because this update was released at roughly the start of 2019 so yeah pretty cool so you can see voyager 1 over here and then voyager 2 down there after leaving the neptune area so you can see pretty cool you can see uh, where neptune is now from where voyager left it so that's a uh, that's pretty cool stuff indeed very nice and then obviously voyager 1 that left saturn originally so that would have came from the uh, saturn sort of orbit over here somewhere so yeah pretty cool stuff indeed there but obviously we've done all this in previous videos over the years so without further ado i'm going to hop onto the next version um what we can check out which is update 23 okay everyone so now welcome to the update 23 era of universe sandbox so now we've jumped all the way to august 2019 so we're in update 23.2 but um, obviously if we go back we can see all of the versions of update 23 so originally update 23 was the beyond the milky way updates so that's when they added the new galaxy improvements in which was a really really cool update i remember this this was really really awesome so here we can see added the elliptical obviously all the other galaxies the spiral elliptical all the irregulars in on it. that was a really really cool update i remember that um so yeah we had the beyond the milky way update then we had the galactic cleanup so that was just um improvements and stuff which is cool and then obviously there's a few more other buttons and stuff and then lastly the final version of 23 was the saturn's new moons update which just added the yeah the new moons around saturn so pretty cool stuff so let's go ahead and clip that a close again we're going to run the performance test before we check anything else out i want to see what the game can do let's see if we can beat the frames from the previous version of the game as well and um, yeah, we'll just have to see um, which version comes out on top between update 20, was it 22 and 23? Yeah, so the interesting stuff, the galaxy collision should be different in this version as well as this was the version that added all that in. So yeah, we should be in for a nice surprise here seeing the galaxies collide. So how's this simulation doing? Here's the troublemaker sim. Every version we've played, I think this simulation's always been the hardest one to run. The Earth and 100 moons, I think. Okay, what we got next? The new galaxies. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so the new galaxy collision. Check it out so we can see how the game's evolved here as well. Okay, right. So we're going to see him collide. The camera's kind of weird. Oh, the camera's a little weird there. Okay. Got the good old Saturn and Neptune. That's been around for a while as well now. So looking cool. Okay, and then we should have the moon collision here. So let's see if that water bug's fixed or the ice will be added. So update 23. So let's see what we can uh, let's see what update twenty three brings to the table. No, you can still see the glitches of adding all the watery icy effects to it. Okay, that's really weird. Right, so there you go. Now I want to say that performed better, but honestly, it's quite hard to work out. Oh, only eighty. Oh wow, we, whoa, we lost a lot there. So update twenty two to twenty three. That's a huge, huge loss in performance there. Wow, we okay. Interesting stuff indeed. Right, okay. So, other things um, to just go over. So, we're going to go over the galaxies quickly. So, this is also the update where we could um, check these out. So, where were we? So, galaxies. So, this was the new galaxy improvement update. So, you could get all of the different uh, bits in. I don't want to place too many. But, um, yeah, this was this was really, really cool. So, I'll see all the different types of galaxies, which are really, really awesome. So, yeah, and we still have that in the uh, current version of the game today. But I think they're a little more primitive in this version. I don't think you can colour them or anything. Yeah. Um, they were literally just as they were. You couldn't change much about them other than the star amount and bits and bobs like that. If we go to the Milky Way itself, yeah, you couldn't you couldn't change any colours. You could only do very, very little. You could obviously change the galaxy types and stuff like that, but you couldn't really do much else. You can obviously can change all of the all of the different types, um, from elliptical galaxy types to the irregular, which is quite cool. So there it is. So you could have yeah, you could have literally anything. But you couldn't change the colours just yet, because that obviously comes down the road, so We'll go back into a new simulation now. So just a few other things to note as well. Obviously, menu speed, that's um, fairly nice if we open all of this up as well. Um, Customisation-wise, as far as I know, it was still at this point. You couldn't do anything other than surfaces still. I think the interface may have had a change. I don't know. It's still using this version, okay? So that was the only thing you could do. There wasn't any atmosphere customization. There wasn't anything else. The only thing you could do still at this point was the good old um, surface colours. So there we are. And obviously, onto simulations. Here we can see the uh, 100th anniversary of the, I remember the general relativity, the flyby of the asteroid, the OK asteroid. And there's also all the up stuff in the previous updates down there as well. So, yeah, pretty cool. But we'll go over the um, we'll go over the galaxy collision in this version of the game as well. Because we didn't really get a good view of it in the uh, 
test there. So let's just see the Milky Way and Andromeda collide. You can see the, and how much a bigger Andromeda actually is there. Wowie. So let's uh, watch them go in together. So there you go. There's a better view of uh, the galaxies colliding there. Oh, big, uh, big smash and smash and bash indeed there. I think if you just speed it up, they just break it. Yeah, it all just breaks. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there you are. But yeah, that's um, that's a brief overview of update 23. So now we're going to take a jump to probably one of the most controversial updates and highly debated updates in the, the history of this game, actually. And that is update 24, the surface grid update. So let's go ahead and check that out, guys. Okay, everyone. So unfortunately, I couldn't access t update 24 of the game. So I've had to hop into update 25 instead. Unfortunately, nothing popped up. So we can't really read back at the uh, patch notes. But yeah, first of all, going over update 24, which is the version I would have liked to have been in. That was the very, very sort of controversial and highly debated Surface Grids update. And I remember when this update first came out, a lot of people were not happy with the sort of performance of the game, the bugs. A lot of people, the bugs at this time were quite um, hectic. I mean, I, I really like I really like the concept of the update, but obviously I would also agree that the bugs it did um, it did upset a lot of people. And unfortunately, a lot, a lot of people I know back from the old days of the game, a lot of them actually quit the game for good. With this update, so that was um, quite unfortunate. But luckily, most of those original bugs are kind of, um, I think, I believe they're sourced now. Also, still bugs are off around, but I think that's just normal for any game development, really. But um, yeah, update twenty four. This was a surface grid and laser update. So, for instance, if we want to go to Earth, this was the update where you could uh, check all of these bits out. So, if we open it up here, um, we could press. Um, it was this button, wasn't it? And you could get all of these stats up. Which is really, really cool. I remember when this first came out, I was like, oh, I think I was pretty amazed. Oh, these are all these extra settings. They're really, really awesome. So you could access all of that. Um, as we can see as well, the appearance tab was added to the game as well. And we can see the uh, atmosphere color and the cloud color have been added. I'm not sure if that was update 24 or update 25 it did this. But as we can see, it's, it's still a change over update 23. Because now you can do the atmospheres, which is a thing that we were waiting for for a long time. You, we really, really wanted atmospheres. Obviously, cloud customization as well you could do, which is really, really awesome. So, yeah, it was really, really awesome to find. And the interface. Don't forget the interface as well. So, you could finally see... Or you could finally have a little more customization to your planets and make more unique style of objects. So... Yeah, for instance, we could just made um, a red earth there as well. But yeah, just going over the rest of the updates to 24. So they added lasers in as well. If you remember those, they were, they were pretty cool. Um, interface improvements. Oh, yes. Let's have a look at the interface. So you'll see this all changed. This all wasn't here in the previous update. And also city lights as well. You can do um, do the city light colors, which are, which are pretty cool. So there they are. And also if we open up the add menu, I believe this was the update that changed things up. So we can see a massive, massive lag spike. When opening the menu. So I remember Surface Grids was the update where it really started to get really, really slow when you tried opening the add menu for the first time. Like if we saw in the previous versions, it was like lightning fast. But this version onwards, you can see it's a lot slower than it used to be. And it also... Um... Okay, so yeah, it also had... Um... And it, and the... Oh, it's all got my custom objects are showing up now. Cool. So all of the... Uh... These are the objects I have in the current version of the game, actually, which are quite cool. So yeah, they're all in there. This so game can start reading them now. But, um, yeah, if that was um, update 24 of the Surface Grid. So, yeah, just moving on. So, that was in, if we just look at the history. So, this was November 2019. So, we're now into the 2020 era of Universe Sandbox, leaving update 24 behind us. So, if we go into February of 2020, so that was the retrospective of 2019. So, we'll take another jump. We'll go to March. So this was update 25. Okay, so the I like my tidal heat update, update 25. So we've taken a jump from the end of 2019, and now we're in March 2020. So this was update 25. It brings significant improvements to the temperature and surface simulations, adding stability and accuracy. Okay, that was, yeah, that was cool. Um, oh, and this was also the update where they got rid of Universe Sandbox 2. So if we look at the menu now, Universe Sandbox, this update, update 25, was the update that got rid of the zero, or the up got rid of the two, I should say, not the zero. Where did I get that from? So the two is silent. Just call this universe sandbox. We've gotten rid of the two. Where when loading the game for the update, you may notice a migrating data message. Oh yeah, I remember that. So yeah, it changed um, it changed all the settings over. So this was the end of universe sandbox two, and it's when they just changed the game back to universe sandbox. And then the original game was called Universe Sandbox Legacy. So you've got Universe Sandbox Legacy and Universe Sandbox, which used to be Universe Sandbox 2. 
So they've changed that. But yeah, I know a lot of people still say in the comments, Universe Sandbox 2, um, this and that. But yeah, it hasn't been Universe Sandbox 2 for over a year now. Um, it's been quite a while. But yeah, also, we still know it as Universe US 2. I mean, I think that's just the sort of agreed name for it, really. US 2, and then obviously US 1, or just US for the uh, original game. But um, yeah, this was the update where it just became Universe Sandbox as we know it today. So you can sort of see the evolution into today's version of the game as well, which is um, pretty cool. But yeah, well, while, we're, while we're still just going over, we're going to run the performance test as well. See how that behaves, and I'll just go over the rest of the notes. So I believe um, this this also added the hot swappable ob yeah the swappable um, button in the game, which is really really cool. So um, yeah, that was um, that was pretty cool. So yeah, we'll move on. So March twenty twenty. So let's now go to April twenty twenty. Was there any update in there? Um, oh yeah, the surface grid improvements. Um, in that sort of era, if we go to April, we'll go to May twenty twenty. So that was uh, pretty cool. So oh, they were actually hiring for someone at that point. That's pretty cool. So you can re it's really cool going back through all the history of um, all of these. I have to say, July twenty twenty. Is there another update there? Okay, so it had some supernova effects, um, temperature simulations. So this was update 25.2. So I believe this is the update we're in at the moment, actually. So update 25.2. Okay, so I remember. Okay, so update 25.2 was the the even more color in space update. So this was the update that added the atmosphere color, the cloud color, the interface color. So pretty cool. And this update came out in July of 2020. So it's been over a year. The game has changed a lot in a year. Then obviously adding the chance of um, all of those in. So yeah, that was the update where we got the customization and stuff. But um, okay. Oh, I've just switched back to the uh, game as well. So 60 FPS. So we have lost over the last few updates. We've lost. We've lost almost double our performance. So if we go back to update. I say it was up there 18 or 19 from the previous episode. We had 100, I think we had 131 frames a second in that update, but we can see we're under half. We have lost half the frames a second. Wow, we. And obviously, we noticed that when we opened the menu. Oh, no, I didn't want to say, okay, well, I've sent it. Oh, well. But yeah, the, it's mainly with the menu as well. Like when we first opened the menu in the game, it takes really, really long time to open. But in those old versions, it was instantaneous. You can see that, yeah, this this update 24 or 24, the surface grids onwards really slow my game down, as we saw from the results there. I mean, that's uh, pretty interesting how we can see all the updates before surface grids. They were all above roughly, what, 100 uh, frames a second. But since the surface grids, we've taken a massive toll and we've lost over 40 to 60 um, frames a second there. That's pretty crazy stuff. But it's probably just because the game has to simulate more of the, the all the grids and stuff. I'm guessing that takes up more um, more power on the CPU and stuff. So, yeah, it just takes up more frames a second, really, just um, trying to run it all. So, yeah, pretty pretty crazy stuff there. But also, if we go back, so customization once more. So the update, we're in 25.2. So this was the final version of update 25 that I can access. So obviously, this was the more color in space update. So you could uh, add the customization. And this was a huge... When this came out, this was huge. I mean, it was so amazing that you could finally get more customization in and just do whatever you wanted to the uh, the planets even our own versions you can make custom variants of all of the planets which are really cool i'm in game you didn't have to mod the files anymore which was a huge huge bonus for us who can't mod because yeah it was quite complex doing it back in the day so yeah it's really really cool you could um finally access this in the game and it's yeah still um still a massive part of um it all today really isn't it but yeah there we are guys so that does it for the history of universe sandbox updates 20 um all the, was it, where did we start today? So we did skip a few updates. But yeah, that does it for um, all of this today. So we started on, um, what was it? Oh, I've, I've completely forgot. I've completely had a mind uh, fart there. So yeah, we were on update 22 we started off today, wasn't it? Because we couldn't access 21. So yeah, we started in 22 and now we're in 25. So that leaves us with one final episode next week where we go over update 26, 27 and also 28, which is the current version of the game. So we've almost caught up to the present day. But yeah, we leave uh, today's episode off in the midpoint of 2020, so July 2020, so we're over, just over a year ago now, so yeah, pretty cool stuff there. But yeah, guys, with that all said and done, a massive thank you for watching today's video of the evolution of Universe Sandbox, um, yeah, where we now we saw the game become Universe Sandbox, not Universe Sandbox 2 anymore, so that was, um, that was really, really cool, and yeah, just a nice little fun fact here if you didn't know that, so... Yeah, that's roughly the point uh, change was in this update. So, yeah, pretty cool. But, yeah, with that all said and done, I really hope you enjoyed. Leave a like down below. Let's see if we can go for 40 likes. And also, um, yeah, let us know in the comments what you think of this update and think of the history of the game and how things have changed. Let us know your thoughts and opinions down below there. And, yeah, with that all said and done, make sure you guys all have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.